Hey, what's up guys? My name's Ethan. Welcome back to another video of Skyrim Special Edition. Now the reason I'm starting on Creation Club is because I thought all oh, this is kind of cool. There's a deal out right now. There's a weapon rack bundle for 1,200 um, sort of credits, I think they're called. And you get um, the Staff of Shia Gorath and other staff, the Nos Hammer, the Shadow Weapon Pack, I don't know what it's called. The Bow, <laughs> I've forgotten all the names. And another sword, so there's that. Um, I'm actually, I've actually got 250 credits right now uh, left over. And I'm waiting for Rare Curios, I think it is. Um, yeah, Rare C Curios. Uh, it's only 100 credits, so I can imagine that'll become free for a limited time at some point. So I'm going to wait until that becomes free. Uh, Ruin's Edge Bow, that's what it was. Yeah, and if you haven't actually seen the new um, Creation Club update, go check it out. And if you want to know, these are the ones that I've got. Wow, the, the Dwarf and Mud Crab's still 100. It's it's still free. Uh, the Nyx Hound, but for some reason the picture's not loading in. And those are the ones I've got. So anyway, let's carry on with our game. I forgot which save we're on here. Um, I think it's this one. I, I'm just trying to remember what what happened last video, or what what happened at the end. Hold on, one second, guys. Come on. Come on. There we go, my channel. Let's have a little look. Okay, I've just remembered this is not the right save. We were one before this. For some reason, this save is here. I don't know why. Um, Right, the save we need to go to is this one here. Now, I've just remembered what happened last video. We entered this room and it was absolute chaos. There were so many enemies, so as soon as we spawn in here, it's going to be pretty mental. So, I, I'm going to use Shia Gorath's staff to calm everyone down, uh, paralyze as many people as possible. Um, oh my god. Paralyze as many people as possible, and then uh, just take take some others down and get the numbers down. <laughs> oh my God! Staff of Shiagora. Right then. And I'm nearly dead. Oh my God! I need to get a sword out. This just isn't going to work, is it? Oh my god, yeah, let's use this thing, the uh, the, uh, the staff that these guys are using against us. Oh, it's pretty damn powerful. And some of these guys actually. Uh, equip? Oh no, I didn't actually mean to equip that. Oops. No. 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 I'm gonna die again. I'm actually surprised it paralyzes these guys on the floor right now. Okay, this thing really doesn't work that well. Right, let's get this guy. This is the guy causing all the trouble. Oh, yes, decapitated. <laughs> Boom, there we are. Let's finish off these guys. Take the 
this pedestal. All right, guys, so that is it. Now all we have to do is take Dawnbreaker, the sword we've actually come here for. So uh, let's just scavenge, ra uh, scavenge around this room just to see if there's anything worth taking. Everything's going to be a bit disorientated because, uh, yeah, a lot of spells went off and a lot of things flew around the room. So if there's anything important, it's probably been uh, lobbed somewhere by these back walls, lost in the bushes. <laughs> Let's hope Dawnbreak is in its place. Alright then, there is Dawnbreaker. Oh wow. Who's this guy? Oh, he's an Imperial. Right, so, oh god, that hurts me, I think. Right, so here we go. Activate pedestal. There we go, we just took... Dawnbreaker, there we go, the sword, finally, I got it. Now, you won't be seeing this again until the vampire build, which is in an extremely long time. Um, this is actually episode 163, so I believe that's chapter 16, episode 3. Uh, yeah, so, oh, hold on, we've got a bit of dialogue, I think. Malcarin is vanquished. Skyrim's dead shall remain at rest. This is as it should be. This is because of you. A new day is nah. glory, and you shall be its herald. This is awesome. Take the mighty Dawnbreaker, and with it purge corruption from the dark corners of the world. Wield it in my name, that my influence may grow. I'll wield this mighty blade in your name. May the light of certitude guide your efforts. What I was saying is that we're on episode 163, and we haven't, in reality, like we haven't done a whole lot in this game. It's, this game is so big. Oh, there we go. Look, the beacon is uh, in its sort of resting place now. Um, yeah, what I was saying was, is we, like, there's so much more to do in this game. Uh, so, yeah, expect a lot more episodes, because you're probably thinking, wow, episode 163, it's just, when is it going to stop? Well, let me tell you now, it's, uh, it's not going to stop. <laughs> uh, who's this guy? Keep your guard up. Alright, come to look at the statue, dude. Right, is this, this... Yeah, I killed them. Yeah. You yeah, wouldn't... Stormcloak rebels. You wouldn't be here if I didn't kill these guys, because they would have killed you before you even stepped foot by this place. Ooh, who are these guys? There's, there's more of them. Stay sharp. Keep an eye out for trouble. It's only a matter of time. What is going on? Yeah, it would have been kind of cool if these people rocked up the same the same time I did, and they're kind of we had like an even bigger battle with these guard with these guys. Right, so. I'm going to show you this really cool staff, um, and then after that, I'm just going to have no idea what to say or do because, yeah, well, I literally have no idea what to do now. <laughs> I'm thinking about just uh, ending this uh, build very soon. Who's this guy? Greetings, brother. You look weary. I have something to help you relax if you're interested. What are you talking about? The finest skooma, the sweetest moon sugar. Oh, it's a drug. A price, of course. Just give me what you have and we both walk away from this. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Never should Oh, this guy's strong. Oh, it makes... 
what that noise was. Every time I swing, it makes like a really cool dragon type noise. Ooh, sleeping tree sap. That's good. I think there's actually a uh, Stormcloak camp around here. Yeah, just down there. Hopefully these Imperials don't spot them. Or oh, there's going to be a battle any second. I doubt there will. Right, so this is the staff I wanted to show you. Oh, and here's Dawnbreaker. There you are. That's the sword. I know I don't show them off too much, guys. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, where's the staff? Here we are. So the staff of Shalador, when we equip it, we can move into the staff or use it. Um, so let's press move into staff. Now we're going to go through a small loading screen. And we are going to be transported inside of the staff. And when we get inside, you'll see how cool it is. So here we go, it all looks normal. Um, and then you look up <laughs> and everything's upside down. It's really cool. So if you just look out this window, you can see that we're inside the orb. Um, there we are. I've never actually... Um... Can we get the staff out even though we're inside of it? Let's see. No, I don't think it's in our inventory. Oh no, it's here. Oh no, that's Staff of Magnus. No, we can't. Right, so we got this cool home. Um, lots of stuff uh, here and there. Pretty cool. And then we go to this area. Oh, that's that's to return out uh, to come out of the staff. If we just go in this portal here, we're transported to the to the roof, and yeah, everything looks normal. Then you look up, and everything's upside down. Uh, so that's cool. Uh, there's a bed here, and then there's a trap door here. And if we go in, it leads us to the final room. Which, this is probably like in the handle or something. Oh no, it's the bottom of the orb. And you get this cool room where everything's. It's just so trippy. Look at it. <laughs> And you even get this sort of water thing here, it, the water flows out like this. It's really cool. And the cool, the other cool thing is, is that you can, if you're in battle and you're about to die, you can just teleport into the staff. I'm not sure what that would look like from the enemy's point of view, you just... Uh, Spawning into a staff, the staff dropping to the ground, and then you just popping back out of it with some uh, potions or something. What are these guys doing? Oh yeah, and look there, you can see that all of the uh, the sort of beacons are connected now through that light. Hopefully that stays like that forever. Show that we've completed the dungeon. Right, I have no clue what to do now. I guess we can go back to the college and see if there's anything there. Oh, we can actually examine a Bryheart warrior. Uh, actually, no, I think that's for Neloth. Forget that. Um... Let me just flick through these a second. <clears throat> uh, we can investigate this place. It's where one of those shouts are, the, sh the word walls. Uh, I actually got another person to, I think, he, I think we actually caught it on camera, but someone else approached me and said, hey, look, there's a word wall over here. Go check it out. Oh, and a kind of fact that I found out uh, off camera was that, um, you know, when we did that quest, Night to Remember, 
and we found the hag raven that we apparently married. I forgot what her name is now. Um, but yeah, and actually, actually, this is not what I want to tell you, but in Fallout 4, there was a lady with the same name that everyone wanted to marry, so it was funny because in Skyrim they actually put her in the game as an ugly hag raven. Anyway, um, she actually has a sibling, and I think her sibling is the witch that is at... Um, let me find it. I think it's actually the witch that lives at Anise's cabin, so I think they're siblings. That's cool. Hopefully this word wall is sort of not in this dungeon, sort of just outside. We could just easily grab it. Oh. Uh, if we were playing survival uh, mode right now, I would be dying from going in that water. I would have to like find warmth and stuff. It's going to be so cool when we do that playthrough. Oh, what is this? I thought we were finding a word wall. Oh, I've got to investigate. Uh, I guess we will be going into the dungeon then. Alright, well I can imagine these guys went in and didn't come out alive. And there's suddenly loads of enemies on my map. Oh, if you're wondering where my followers are, they're, they're still in the uh, the cave. Uh, the, 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 uh, the dungeon, uh, killing enemies still. Why is he out of water? Let's enter this tomb. Floating soldier. Don't miss that. I'm not sure how many times the uh, the uh, guy's going to approach us. The courier, I think his name is. Uh, I'm not sure how many times he's going to approach us and keep giving us letters to find word walls. Or maybe he does it for every word wall in the game, I'm not, I'm not sure. This will be the last one that we do though. There's a trap there, but we have a uh, perk so we can't actually set traps off, which is good. We got a dead adventurer. These were prob. This was probably the guy that was uh, camping outside. Oh, you need the ivory claw to use this. Okay. Well, it looks like the ivory claw is used to open and close the gate, but it's already open. Oh wow! Oh, uh, <laughs> not a puzzle. I hate puzzles. Oh, we've got to put a claw in there as well, in that keyhole. Alright, let's try to figure out this puzzle then. we got snake here, bird there, snake there. Wait, this is already correct, I think. Oh, did the adventurers figure out this? Oh, maybe the adventurers uh, put the, uh, the claw in and got like halfway through. And kind of didn't make it <laughs> the rest of the way. That would make sense, wouldn't it? <laughs> I have a good idea right now. Very good idea. Right, these droppers are going to come out of their box. Oh. 
and I'm going to set that off, the oil trap. This driver looks cool, I don't think I've seen one with that kind of helmet. I think it's a sorcerer. Let me see if I can, oh I can't get his helmet. Hold on, is that closed on me? What? Get that back up. It was that we could have used as well. Ooh. Yeah. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. There's a room here. Oops, I thought that was a sack. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you for... Oh, why can I not see the... Um... Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode.